Techbusters proudly brought to you by Ericsson. So many years ago, 25 years ago, I was a backpacker and I found myself in Israel working on a farm in the desert and I saw firsthand just how efficient the Israelis are with water. And it's this efficiency, this understanding of this very priceless uh, commodity that we have uh, needed here in South Africa. I popped over to a demonstration the Israeli embassy organized about how they manage water and spoke to an eminent professor, Professor Adair, about how they look at water management in what the country that is essentially a desert. Let's take a look. So what are some of the, the highlights that Israel does to, to make water more than just, you know, something that comes out of a tap? The largest consumer of water in South Africa, around the world, is the agricultural sector. Yes. In order to be able to decrease dramatically the amount of water supplied to every sector is, above all, elevate water use efficiency by the agricultural sector. Next to it is, are the municipalities. Municipalities actually demand high quality of water. That, that means the most expensive water. If that water is not used appropriately, in an efficient way, we waste resources. Exactly. And bear in mind that more than 80% of the water that we pump every day to the municipalities are released in the very same day or during night time as sewage away from the cities. So even you use the water in the most efficient way, you have a resource in your hands that if treated as we observed in several presentations today, it is a resource. It can be used by the surrounding farmers. Every municipality is surrounded by exactly. agricultural community and to elevate the efficiency of the water maintenance. 40% leakage is not acceptable. Yeah. It's a waste, especially because Indeed. we pump high quality of water into the cities. So if you take these three parameters into consideration, you can make a change. Unlike you give it a value, unlike you give your price water, people do not appreciate it, people do not, do not have the um, incentive to elevate water use efficiency. Without that, there is no way to proceed. The fourth parameter is education. You have to educate the public to appreciate water as a resource. It is a dramatic resource. You have to look for additional water. It can come from treating sewage water. And here you have, as we say, two pigeons in one shoot. You save the environment, you ease the burden on the environment, exactly. and you by reclaiming the water, you actually use it for food production. And all other cheaper resources are not sufficient to provide what is needed. You have to manufacture water. Whether it's, coming, it's going to come from Brekish groundwater or oceanic seawater, that's what we are looking for. Ambassador Arthur Leck, you're a good friend to South Africa and you've brought this really remarkable water week to the country to talk about just how successful Israel has been in managing what is a very scarce resource and share some of the great ideas with South Africa. Just tell us a little bit around your thinking and Israel's thinking about how to maximize this very scarce resource. Why do we look at diamonds or oil or coal that come out of the ground as something of value but not water? But water is life. We can live without coal. We can't live without water. And so we have to put a price and a value on it to make people respect it. And it's not a secret. And it's not um, patented technology. It's almost all stuff that's on the table and available if a combination of government and industry and the public realize that our lives depend on it, that our food security, our agriculture, our very future depends on us being water secure. Israel desalinates water because we don't have a choice. We needed to make the pie bigger. But you have easier solutions. 
if you just saved the leakage from municipal pipes and mm -hmm. cut that down from 40%, 40% to 20%, look how much more water you have. If you're exactly. able to get, to use drip irrigation, 95% of the farmers in Israel use drip irrigation. In South Africa, they say it's 10 to 15%. If we could get half of the farmers in South Africa to use drip irrigation, think about the amount of water. That's free water Indeed. that already exists.